Hey, horror fans, once again, it is me, the Horror Miser Mani G. Yes, it is Saturday. That means it is Slashback Saturday. And for this one, the Horror Man said that we have to pick a slasher that has more than one killer. <laughs> and what better way than to celebrate this Slashback Saturday is to talk about Scream. Now, obviously, we know that mostly all the Scream films, other than the third one, always had more than one killer. So I decided to go with Scream 4, which is my second favorite in the franchise. <laughs> now, Scream 4 is a 2011 American slasher film that was directed by the late, great Wes Craven and written by Kevin Williamson. It was produced by Outer Bank Entertainment and distributed by Dimension Films, and it is the fourth installment of the Scream film franchise. <laughs> Now, the film stars David Arquette, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, Emma, Ra Emma Roberts, and Hayden Panettiere. Uh, the film takes place on the 15th anniversary of the original Woodsboro's murder, that was in Scream 1, and involves Sidney Prescott returning to the town. Now, the film takes place on the 15th anniversary of the original Woodsboro's murders, involving Sidney Prescott returning to the town after 10 years, where Ghostface once again begins killing students at Woodsboro High. <laughs> Like its predecessor, Scream 4 combines violence of the slasher genre, genre with elements of black comedy and whodunit like Scooby-Doo and satirizes cliches of film remakes. Now, the third one revealed a secret of the past where we found out that Sidney actually had a half-brother named Roman and he was the one that um, made Billy Lewis and Stu kill all the people, including Sidney's mother. That's what the third one revealed. Really didn't go back to anything slasher-wise, but the fourth one made fun of remix. <laughs> and I think that's the reason why I enjoyed this one out of all the other screams. Not saying that Scream 2 or Scream 3 wasn't good, but I enjoyed Scream 4 mainly because of how well it was written. Kevin Williamson made a great script. Uh, there were some elements that I really true and enjoyed. Uh, there was one particular scene, which I will discuss later, that involves Hayden Pantieri's character, Kirby. Now, after we see two friends get killed by a new ghost face killer, Sydney is back promoting her new book, when all of a sudden evidence points to her being the killer. She's allowed to stay in town. We're introduced to her cousin Jill, played by Emma Roberts, and her group of friends, and they're all now being stalked by a ghost face. We get the original phone calls from ghost face, and we see everyone's trying to find out who the new killer is. Now, I'm not going to spoil who the killer is. I'm pretty sure people who have seen Scream 4 know who it is. I'm not going to spoil it. You know, I'm pretty sure you know who it is. But there is one scene in particular where Kirby and Sydney are seeing her friend Charlie as taped up. And they get a call from Ghostface. And uh, let's just go on ahead and watch that scene, which I truly do love. Let him go, please. I hear you like horror movies, Kirby. But do you like them as much as him? Forget watching Stab. You get to live it. No, 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 no. He's the expert. It's not me. Warm-up question. Jason's weapon. Uh, it's a machete. There, you see, you do know the genre. Michael Myers. Uh, butcher knife. Leatherface. <laughs> Uh, Kate, so please! Just ask Sydney if you need some help. Freddy Krueger! Uh, uh, raise your hands! Name the movie that started the slasher craze. Halloween, oh, Texas no. Chainsaw Massacre, Last House oh, on the Left, no. or Psycho? Psycho! None of the above! Peeping Tom, 1960, directed by Michael Powell. First movie to ever put the audience in the killer's POV. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Please, just ask me one more question, just one more. All right, Kirby. Then it's time for your last chance question. Name the remake of the groundbreaking horror movie in which the villain... Halloween, uh, Texas Chainsaw, Dawn of the Dead, The Hills Have Eyes, Amityville Horror, uh, Last House on the Left, Friday the 13th, and A Nightmare on Elm Street, My Bloody Valentine, When a Stranger Calls Prom Night, Black Christmas, House of Wax, The Fog, uh, Piranha. It's one of those, right? Right? Got it right. Well, you got to give Curry some credit. Actually, I like Hayden Penitentiary's uh, performance right there, how she rattled off all those movies that were remade. 
<laughs> it's not the scene. It's just perfect. Just how well, well it was written by Kevin Williamson, how well it was written, and how well Hayden Penitentiary performed. So I feel that's one of my favorite scenes. I think out of all the screen franchises, this is my favorite scene because all those movies were remade. <laughs> Now, of course, we do get some decent kills in the film right here, uh, which I thought was very fantastic. They really upped the gore part in here, this one right here. Uh, there was speculation that Courtney Cox, Gail Weathers' character, could actually be the killer. And it was interesting to see how this film ended. And I truly believe that this is, this is truly the second best out of the Scream franchises, in my humble opinion. And this makes a perfect, great uh, theme setting for this week's Slashback Saturday. So, my horror fans, what do you think about Screen 4? Do you think this is the second best out of the franchises? What do you think about uh, fran remakes in, in particular? Uh, we all know that Screen 5 is now being in pre-production right now. The latest news is that Courtney Cox has signed that only leaves Neff Campbell. Uh, what are your thoughts about Screen 4 and the upcoming Screen 5? I'll leave your comments down in the comment section below and tell me what you think about Screen 4. So there you have it. That's my video for this week, Flashback Saturday. I'm pretty sure the Horror Man will come up with another excellent theme. And this is my video for this week as well. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like and share. Also, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime when I put a new video such as this one. Also, all my social media links will be in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror Man Zamani G. And always remember... Horror rules. Ha! I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.